Hello, welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video, and today, you see that I'm wearing stuff differently, such as the Fierce Shadow Assassin boots and the Shadow Assassin helmet, and the Fierce Strong Dragon. Um, I'm only wearing two of the Strong Dragon and two of the Fierce Shadow, because they are really expensive to get. Maybe not too much of the Strong, but it is for the Shadow Assassin. I also got myself enough to get my Spicy Livid Dagger. Which is also what I could have got instead of these two, but it is what it is. I also got my little dungeon setup going on here. And I also want to explain of how I got these items and where I got these items. Because some people may be thinking like, man, I really want those items, but how can I get them? Or how can I even afford stuff like that? You know? Well, that's why I'm here for you today. Well, we're going to start off with one... And we're going to start off with farms. Now, farms, this farm is um, is in progress. I have used this builder's wand. This builder's wand will make your life a whole lot easier. Trust me when I tell you this. This will make your life a whole lot easier. When I mean a whole lot easier, I mean if you have this entire row and you just plop this bad boy like this, boom. You already have one layer done. Great, now I gotta break that now. <laughs> but, um, I started making this part of the farm. I didn't really start down here last time. I'm pretty sure last time I still had this, uh, sugarcane farm. I'm pretty sure I added this little pumpkin farm, which is what I'm gonna make all up here. Um, but to this builder's wand, if you really wanna make a big farm like this within a small amount of time, you wanna use this builder's wand. And when you use the builder's wand, it has its own little inventory. And you can just put stuff inside of it. So once when you built that little, once when I built this little line over here, like how I just demonstrated, it'll come out of this inventory. And if you don't have enough materials inside this inventory, it'll come out of here. And if you don't have enough materials, it'll tell you how much materials you'll need. For example, if I wanted to make dirt. Oh, wait, I can't build that side. <laughs> But if I wanted to make dirt this side, it would tell me I need 150 blocks. So right now, my width of my thing is approximately 152 blocks because. Oh, wait. This guy right here. But I'd say about approximately 140. No, 100. I don't know. 154. There we go. Man, if I could even speak today. Oh my gosh. But I also made a new layout of this base. Because I was like, hey, I got some money, might as well upgrade it. But trust me, this builder's wand will make you a whole lot easier. And the only sucking part about this part is that you have to hoe everything down. And you have to put all the seats in there. But how we used to do it is just place one block at a time. And I would never have this farm if it wasn't for that. But I've been stuck with these couple farms over here. That's how I've been making most of my money. Uh, maybe not most, but quite a bit of my money. I've also been using that sugarcane farm. And if you make up enough, you can make enchanted um, enchanted sugar with the sugarcane and enchanted pumpkins with the pumpkins. Or you could also use cocoa beans. You could also use any other crop like carrots, potatoes. But they're not as profitable as pumpkins or cocoa beans or... Um, Sugarcane. And we're wondering why. Why am I not doing cocoa beans instead? Because I don't want to place down on the logs and I think I think I would need the pumpkins. Because pumpkins are pretty cool in my opinion. I like pumpkins and I want to make a lot of things with pumpkins. And I also wanted to get the um the collection up. So once when I'm done with that, I might make another layer farm for cocoa beans, but right now I'm just focusing Gary? Uh, Gary? Okay. Um, <laughs> well, now let's get on to the second method of making money. Now, the second method of making money is zealots. Now, zealots can be located all the way down at the bottom of the end not these ones 
You want to go all the way over here. To this dragon's gate. You want to go through this dragon's gate. And you could fight these enemies called zealots. Fight them. They have a 1 in 420 chance to drop a summoning eye. And summoning eyes go for approximately 530k to 560k. Per summoning eye. But it is quite rare to get a summoning eye. It's still quite worth it. Which, let's see. If I were to farm a... a Summoning Eye. I have grinded a little bit before this episode, or not episode, this tutorial. Um, I would probably get it soon enough because I've killed approximately like 200 before I stopped. 200, 300 before I stopped. And you do have, if you do want to keep count, you can keep count. But that doesn't really, I, I'm just not into counting for 420 zealots every single one that I kill. And you don't have to. How did I not kill him one hit? Oh, I thought I hit him from the back. But anyway, from these zealots, you can get a summoning eye. And that's pretty much just as all you need for this strategy is a 13k damage weapon and a little bit of speed. That's all you need. And you could also use summoning eyes for dragons over here in the podium. And you need a think eight yeah you need eight eyes to summon a dragon but you need summoning eyes and every single time that you get summoning eyes you can place one but there's something called weight when you get weight it's of like your placement in dragons and your placement in dragons depends on how much damage you do Let's say if you do like 10 million damage and you get first place out of the dragon, you'll get like 175 weight. But if you place one summoning eye, you get 100 weight. Once you get 100 weight, you need to add more because for like I think for an AOTD, also known as Aspect of the Dragons, you need at least 400 weight. So if you know that you do a lot of damage and you're going to get top 3 damage, you gotta at least place 3 summoning eyes to make profit. 3 or 2 summoning eyes to make profit. But let's add up the math. If you had 3 summoning eyes and you place 3 summoning eyes and you got an aspect of the dragons that is currently I think going for 800k right now, you would make no profit you'd make negative profit but if you were to get an ender dragon pet you'd make millions of profit this is also another form of gambling with the dragons now gambling with the dragons is risky because you can get a certain type of dragon like for example the worst dragon protector or you can get the best dragon superior it really depends on rng i am gonna um, show you on how much I could make off of the mini farms that I have right now. Now let's go see of how much I can make off of the mini farms right now. I'm not going to use any sort of, um, the only thing I'll be using is this armor, the Shadow Assassin and the Fierce Dragon and those two, that's it. That's really it. And the only th other thing is I'll be using my Rookie Hoe. And a uh, personal compactor. That's all I'll be using. Now, I'll be back once when I collected the materials. Now guys, I forgot I forgot that I was going to say that for the um wait, let me take out the zombie real quick. 
You always gotta make my life harder, zombies, huh? Well, back to what I was saying. While I make my pumpkins into enchanted form. What I'm gonna be using for the pumpkins is this tree capitator. You don't have to use specifically the tree capitator, but you could also use a normal golden axe. But I just like using this one because this is my standard axe. But I will be using this, and I will also be using my young dragon armor. The young dragon armor is optional, but I just prefer it because it makes my life a whole lot faster at farming a whole lot of crumbs. Did I just say crumbs? I meant to say crops. Now back to the back to the video. <laughs> All right, now that we're done farming, let's check out our final results. Let me grab this thing out. Let's see, from this entire harvest, we got 17 enchanted pumpkins and six a stack and 16 enchanted sugar, also known as 80 enchanted sugar. And uh, that's uh, that's the harvest of a small farm. That's just a small. That's not a full width. And if you were making a full width, you'd probably get like half a stack of pumpkins. No, not even half a stack. You'd probably get like three stacks of enchanted pumpkin. And then you'd probably get approximately about 18, I'm going to say, enchanted sugar teen, teen, cane. And uh, I'm going to say about a half a stack of, sh of uh, sh sugar. Enchanted sugar, and uh, I'm gonna put this stuff away. That way, I could be all organized and whatever. Because I like staying organized. It's just enjoyable for me to be organized. That way, I can stay organized. I don't know why I have those in there. Whatever. As I was just saying, organized. Okay. Now I'm gonna go change back now let's go all the way towards the end because i already have my end portal right here and let's go all the way to the bottom like i said for the zealots just to show you of how we could for how you could make money and how efficient you can make money but this one i've been grinding a little bit but this is all basically just rng i am now going to See you in a bit after I get all these. Oh, look, a dragon. Wait, are we actually having a dragon? One sec. Okay, well, this is going to be a good explanation for a dragon. Um, I don't think they're going to do a dragon, so I'm itching a little bit after I get a summoning eye. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I seem to got of a summoning eye shall we say and here look at this luxurious thing it took me a very long time it took me a longer time than i thought it was gonna take and this thing i'll go show you right now of how much it is worth in the bazaar but these things do take a very long time to get depending on your rng and my rng was horrible and if i click on here and i put up a sell offer right now they are going for 583,000, but i'll get 570k so approximately 570k that you'll get from a summoning eye right now during this recording of a video now i believe that is it for today's um video on how to make money um this is what i got and look my sell offer was ready put in so someone bought my summoning eye that's nice but back to the outro this is the end of the video um I hope you enjoyed. I hope you make lots of profit off of these money-making ways that you could still make. Remember, just to make sure that you guys know from the farm, 
that I had earlier in this video is only a miniature farm, if not a full-size farm. I am working on a full-size farm right now, but it will not make you as much money as a full-width farm. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.